Hey guys, it's your girl Angie. You're watching Barbershop Conversations. Make sure to click the button below to subscribe, like the video, don't like it, leave a comment. Um, you can also follow me at um, Angelica Curtis on Instagram. See you soon. He doesn't take those type of fights. No, he wants to challenge big names, big fighters, but not going down. He wants to go up. You're talking about Lomachenko, right? Well, David Lomachenko is a hell of a fighter, you know. Also, I could consider him a hell of a friend, too. You know, he trains, yeah, know he trains in my gym. He's been, since his uh, first pro fight, he's been, he's been fighting him out of my gym. But, uh, but Mikey's was in Riverside. So, you know, it's, you know, they could both represent RGBA. But, you know, one out of Riverside and one out of uh, Oxnard. Uh, I know Igis Klimas is a good friend of mine. I work together. We work together with so many fighters and, uh, and, uh, and you know, but this is a business. And if, and, if, and if that opportunity comes, we will be more than happy to work something out. I know uh, one thing is I will shut down the cameras because I don't want to be, I don't want to be considered, you know, one of those, uh, trainers that's gonna try to cheat or something yeah 100% I would never do that I would close the gym down so he could have his uh, private training camps because that's the way I am you know I don't I don't I don't I don't do stuff like that but we would definitely definitely love that that challenge you know Lomachenko is to me I already said it right now right till right now right now I think he's pound, pound for pound the best fighter in the world I think so you know Andrew Ward had a great win but didn't look spectacular you know there was a lot of questions about the decision a lot of people thought Kovalev won uh, you know, I'd say more than more than more than more than than what than the people that thought Ward won. I think more people thought Kovalev won. So you know, it's a fight that could have gone either way. Uh, so that's why I I, I think uh, Lomachenko just showed tremendous skills in his last fight. So I think Lomachenko is pound for pound the best fighter right now. Bad blood, February fourth. You're obviously the golden whisper of this fight. How's this fight going, o Ortiz? Look, real. It's gonna be a, a great fight, you know. If, uh, the way the way it looks and the way okay, I, the cameras on here. The way I talk to uh, the way I talk to uh, to Brandon, because I still talk to him a lot. He's training hard. He's training very hard. I also talked to Ricky, and uh, Ricky tells me that he's very motivated. You know, so so just that 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 itself. If Brandon's in great shape and Brandon trains very hard for this fight, which he should, I think Brandon Brandon has the heart and the chin, the power to dominate Victor. But Victor is very skillful and very fast and has great power. So it's a very dangerous fight for both of them. But I I, I still got to go with uh, with my boy Brandon. Why you wish you were like part of it? You so you wish you were part of the team that for this particular the fight because I know you've had your run-ins with Victor too. Look, uh I used to train Victor early in his career, and uh, well, Brandon throughout his career. This is gonna be his first fight without me. Now, now at this point, you know what? I, I, I would, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really, really say if Brandon was training with me, I would, I would love to be part of it. But now that he's got his own team and he's doing his own thing, well, they're gonna do a great job. You know, I, I don't want to get involved and, and want to try to say, you know, Brandon did it because of me. No, I, I want, I want Ricky to get all the credit. I'll, I'll be more than happy to be there, ringside watching the fight. You know. Uh, the thing is that I, I I might not even be available to go show up for the fight because the day before I, it looks like I have uh, one of my fighters fighting in Puerto Rico, so it's gonna be Friday Friday night. You know, I, if I catch a flight back to LA, I'd probably make it in time, but I'm gonna be in Puerto Rico, so I think I'd rather enjoy Puerto Rico <laughs> Saturday and Sunday and come back home on Monday, and I'll probably just watch the fight on TV. Dude, dude, Mikey said that he wanted to fight Conor McGregor. He got his, well, first, how do you think about uh, Conor McGregor getting his boxing license in California? Well, it's great, you know, he, you know, I you know, I, I hadn't seen him, I had never seen him fight until his last fight, and uh, even though I wasn't very impressed with the whole show itself, because, you know, my kids were the ones telling me, you know, UFC, MMA is badass, badass. I seen that show and I wasn't very impressed. I was a little disappointed from all the talk that they had said. But Connor did show skills. He does have skills in boxing, uh, you know. So I, why not? You know, we welcome him to uh, to the boxing world, and uh, I know it would be huge too. You know, we, boxing does need big numbers right now. You know, you see you see pay per view fights not doing very good. You see HBO fights not doing really good numbers on, on HBO. So uh, so somebody like Connor, we might we might he might bring the you know the ratings up, so more, he's more than welcome here. Well, can, he, can he hang with the top elite fighters, or does he need to start lower level? Well, you know he won't start slow. He won't start little by little because he's already big. Any fight is gonna, against the easiest opponent will be big anyways. So you know he'll he'll need a good matchmaking to pick his opponents and then pick solid names, but guys that he could beat. So 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 he could make it to the bigger bigger names, but uh, it, it shouldn't take long.
What's your last conversation you had with Victor Ortiz? For you know what? After after his last fight, actually, after his last fight, we were there uh, watching the fight, and uh, you know we've had a lot of uh, bad. Uh, Bad blood also between him and I, but uh, watching his fight and and, and 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 watching, seeing him doing so good in the first few rounds, dropping Berto, I was you know I, I kind of you know like you know kind of liked the way he was fighting and I was kind of wishing he he continued doing the same and 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 come up with the win. Then you know we seen Berto come back and, and knock him out. I seen him back in the locker room and. Uh, and he came up to me. He came up to me, shook my hand, and I shook his hand. And I, you know, we had a few words uh, uh, to each other. You know, wish him good luck. I told him he was doing really good, and uh, and uh, that was it. You know, it wasn't a big conversation. But you know, I have. You know, I'm old enough. You know, maybe 10 years ago, I was I was still one of those trainers or, or persons that took things personal. But I've already seen it so much in this boxing world with with big promoters, with big name fighters. You know. I learned to 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 uh, to to know the sport better. So, I, you know, I, I I wish him good luck and uh, and told him, you know, you know, you were doing good. You know, you just got caught. You know, keep your head up. Mikey Garcia, <laughs> Mikey Garcia is a free agent. What? How much is the signing bonus you need to sign with someone? Look, I don't think Mikey's looking at a signing bonus. Uh, you know, or else he would have already got it. You know, I know that we never. You know, there was there was a lot of interest in Mayweather, but uh, we never even asked Mayweather. What Mikey's looking for, Mayweather never even offered anything, so we just let it go. You know, we we, we weren't looking for that. You know, if, if he was to offer, then he would have made an offer. You know, we didn't want him to know that that we were desperate looking for for a promoter because Mikey doesn't need one. You know, Richard Schaefer is very interested too, and Richard Schaefer knows what he's doing. He's probably probably the best option for Mikey right now, but. Uh, but we're not going to tell him we want to sign with him unless he unless he want, unless he comes to us with with something reasonable for Mikey. If not, we just continue fighting the, the way Mikey is. You know, Mikey's got the, the you know short term behind him. It looks like Al Heyman is also very interested. So why would we need to sign with a promoter when Mikey could could be his own promoter? You know, Mikey's already starting his promotional license, and uh, maybe not to promote his own fights because those are huge fights, huge fights, and we need somebody like Schaefer or or big promoters to be able to do it. But little by little. Mikey, Mikey's doing it, you know. Mikey, Mikey doesn't doesn't need to be uh, under anybody unless it's something that's definitely worth it. Did Bob Arum make you apprehensive about actually pursuing a promoter, or as, as opposed to taking your time? Look, what Mikey learned uh, from from all these last two and a half years, you know, when he was in in, in that legal battle with with Bob Arum, Mikey learned a lot. So that's why Mikey's not gonna Mikey's not gonna just sign right away with anybody. Like I said, unless it's very well worth it, you know. Uh, uh, most of the times, promoters uh, get the, the you know the big money from from the big TV networks and uh, the gay the international rights sponsors uh, uh, the gate and and uh, and the fighters don't don't make as much money. You know, Mikey already knows all that. So now now that Mikey is in control of his career, especially if he if he wins this title, you know, Mikey Mikey will be making all the money. Just like you know, just like Cotto did at uh, one time, De La Hoya did the same. Uh, Mayweather did the same. I think Mikey wants to do the same. As I as I told Mikey Garcia a few moments ago, he's literally on the cusp of being a megastar. Speaks English well. Speaks English well. Good looking kid. Dresses like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Who is the stepping stone in your eyes? I, I I know you guys sit at home. I don't know if you want to talk about it now, but. Who is the stepping stone fight that you foresee in Mikey Garcia's career that says, you know what, pay per view is our next fight? I don't, I don't, I don't think it'll happen, because of, especially because of the legal battle that Mikey had. But I would love to, I would love to get Pacquiao in front of Mikey uh, at 140, because I hear he doesn't want to fight at 147, but he's the champion at 147, so we wouldn't mind doing it uh, at a catch weight, maybe you know, 42, 43. That'd be the ideal fight. I would love it. I'm not saying it'll happen, but you know. I'm still working with Top Rank. They they all still give me a lot of good fights. I have a lot of fighters fighting for Top Rank. I'm still signing fighters with Top Rank. So uh, so if they want to work something out with me, Mikey's a free agent. You know, if they don't want to talk to Mikey, they can talk to me. Uh, that's a fight that I would love to. You know, because uh, it it won't be easy, but that would be the challenge for Mikey. That would be the fight that makes Mikey that pound for pound uh, pay per view star. What do you think of uh, Mikey saying he would fight Conor McGregor and welcome him to the sport of boxing? Well, yeah, he didn't tell me, or else I would tell him. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's just, I think that's just, you know, Conor McGregor is, is a big name only because only of the, the big name and it would be huge for for wherever the fight happens, I, I you know, it would be a huge fight, but, uh, 
there's just no, you know, come on, what can I say? I don't think, I don't think he's he's even capable of fighting somebody like Mike. I don't think so. You know, Mike is just too skillful. McGregor is really good inside the cage, but when it comes to a boxing match, I think you know he needs to 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 get a few good wins against decent names, but guys that he could beat. I don't think he could be Mikey. Why is Pablo Machenko? Is that a fight you guys looking at? Machenko? You know, I'm not looking at that fight because uh, he's a lower weight division, and Mikey doesn't want to challenge any smaller guys. Mikey, Mikey set it up on stage. You know, he you know he's not fucking around. And Ronda con mamadas. You know, you know other guys do that, and and, and a lot of people criticize him. Mikey's not gonna get criticized. Mikey's not gonna challenge any any yeah, smaller yeah. guys, but if Lomachenko Wait, moves up in weight, the then <laughs> Mikey will be more than happy to fight Lomachenko. Well, Lomachenko is a great fighter, looks in session on his last fight. My, that, that, that's the fight that Mikey wants. Mikey wants to fight the best. Oye, hey, Robert, tan temprano en el regreso de tu hermano, ¿estás a gusto con él tomando una pelea tan brava como esta? Es una pelea difícil, pero, pero Mikey quiere pelear con mejor. Mikey quiere, Mikey quiere ser un campeón. Que so, uh, requesting and suffering. Who's what? Who's that fought for the paper before, man? Requesting and suffering another. Is that a good decision right now in boxing? It's because it's because of all the, the you know the promoters and managers not working with each other and not being able to get those fights. Uh, uh, the fighters against each other. That, that's what's hurting boxing, you know. Uh, you know, look, he was fighting Frampton. That, that's a huge fight. You know, we we're finally getting to see those fights. I think, I think from now on, boxing is going to start getting better when it comes to numbers. Thank you. I already know what it is. It's Barbershop Conversations. Hit the subscribe and the like button today.